Hello friends, in this program we are going to discuss about the bubble sort. Bubble sort is a special technique of arranging the array elements in increasing or in decreasing order. So here I just create a class bubble sort and in this I'll have one array of size 10 and uh, I'll be initializing this with the help of a constructor. So I'll pass one array to the constructor and that constructor will initialize this ARR variable. So first I should just make declaration this new end is not needed so I remove it and uh, this should be just int ARR. Okay size also is not important now I'll pass one array to the function even I'll create the object then bubble sort because this is constructor so objects whenever objects are created then the constructors are invoked. So in this I'll pass one array AR which is also of type int and then this value AR will be assigned into ARR. So it should be ARR and uh, and here the assignment. Assignment is ARR will be assigned. It's called the associativity from right to left. So AR will be initialized or it will be stored into ARR. Now I remove. Uh, okay, so I just need to make it one proper declaration and the memory. So new keyword I'll use ARR new int size 10 and then I remove this unwanted stuff and I need two functions one where I'll be writing the code for the uh, arranging according to the bubble sort technique and one will be a show function or something display function kind of just to display the element. Uh, in the sequential order after when it is assignment is done when the arrangement is done so since this first function doesn't return anything this return type should be void and this b sort i'm just giving it the name then here in this actually the bubble sort in bubble sort this will be running two loops and in this looping uh, one inside the other one is called the pass um, controller and other is called the element wise comparison controller you can say so there this is a very simple idea and it's just like creating a bubble and the bubble will create the smallest or the largest depending on whether you are making it in the descending order or in the ascending order so because if you are putting in the ascending order then the largest element will go to the end and if you are putting in the descending order the smallest element will go to the extreme end from the big to small or from small to big so this is first element wise comparison and whenever we'll find that one by one first element will be compared to second second will be compared to the third and whenever we'll find that this is not um, one is out of the order then we have to swap them so we will change the swapping element from the like the array position one to array position next one. So for that we need a variable temporary. I'll declare it as the beginning of the function. And um, inside this I will be checking. So uh, yes, now here I have to declare my temp variable. And this is temp. It's empty now it's local variable since it is decide, declared inside the B sort it is local. So now I compare ARRJ and J is where initially is 0. So I am comparing the 0th element, the first element of the array to the next element. If the first element of the array is greater than the second element, if suppose it is true, depending on the if statement, then I have to swap them. So what I'll do, first I will just demonstrate with the help of uh, paint because this technique you need to understand what is bubble sort is all about so I'll just declare some mathematical inputs I'm putting in and I expect you to understand so since I have 10 arrays means the array of size 10 so I will just uh, since you know the array is contiguous memory cells so here in this contiguous memory cell I create the 10 segments and these segments will be numbered from 0 to 9. So the first element is ARR 0, second element is ARR 1, third is ARR 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I think 2 more. Yes. And then I just name them ARR because there I have declared the main variable as ARR. And the first element is with the index 0 because it is looping begin from j0 
and this is size minus one so it is nine um, so here I just try to put them and so I'm just taking some arbitrary numbers and I'm just trying to explain you that suppose this is the array containing four three five six one nine eight eleven and uh, 7 and uh, 15 respectively so first a r r z 0 means element r r j will be compared with r r j plus 1 means that when j is 0 so first element is compared to the second element or second will be compared always consecutive first to second second to third so 4 is compared to 3 if 4 is greater than 3 Yes, if it is true, and now here in this condition it is true only, so I need to swap. So I'll just take one temporary variable, and it's a memory temporary variable actually. So I'll copy ARR J's value like the 4 into this. So this number, so ARRJ is stored somewhere in temp, even if it is because now temp has got the value 4. So ARRJ value is stored into temp. So it means 4 is copied into temp. Now if I just I copy 3 to 4. So even if ARRJ is overwritten, then also I can say I have one copy in temp. So ARRJ J equal ARRJ plus 1. So the second 3 will be copied into the first cell. It has the element 4 into it. So when 3 you copy in the 4, then the 4 will be overwritten. But I have just made one copy of that. Okay. And then I'll put 4 from temp back to RRJ plus 1. So RRJ plus 1 equal to temp. And so the, the new order has become 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 9, 8, 11, 7, 15. So the new order will be 3 first and then 4 comes and the next time when j becomes 1 then the 4 will be compared to the 5. So this is 4 is not greater than 5 so it will continue then it goes 5, 6, fine. Then you have 6 and 1 so 6 is greater than 1 again it is true so it will be swiped so 1 comes first 6 goes to uh, 1's place then again 1, 9 is fine no problem. Then so it will go like this again I have to compare 9 and 8 so this yeah 9 and 8 so 8 will come and the 9 will go to its position now 9 you have to compare with 11 so no change in order so it's fine so 11 will be compared to 7 then yes so 9 11 is fine so now 7 will be compared to 11 so 11 now swapping will be done here so 7 and 8 and the 15 so you see the 15 the highest element goes to the extreme then next time i will become one more and then i'll have to do one less couple this is called the end of pass one so pass one pass two pass three pass four pass there will be n minus one passes and slowly slowly second element all the elements will come into the particular sequence now let's come into the code and here you see i'll just write the copy things so this is bubble sort is actually very interesting and very easy it's it has some disadvantages that it takes more comparison so now the first temp is stored arj is come stored in temp and then arrj plus one j plus one j plus one is copied into yes not air temp only temp only temp so some errors are there some commas and semicolons semicolons they are missing I'll just pay attention here I just try to write the code for the show function it will also have no parameter in this argument and I just copy this for int i0 so that I can do it easily just time saving 
and then I write system dot out dot print ln and uh, one two errors are there. Some semicolons or something is missing. This reads uh, things. Yeah, the extra bracket is there. Then here I need to put semicolon and then a semicolon near temp also one semicolon so this yes there i need one semicolon one node maybe the error is there yes yeah this should not have any element into this because it's not receiving anything now it is compiled yes it's compiled just see no error is there i create the object for this and when you create the object you have to pass 10 elements into it so since it is array i'm just writing 10 elements so just you have to press in the curly brackets in the braces 6 2 5 7 3 4 9 1 and i have to count them also let me count whether they are right or not it should be 10 because uh, now 5 yeah i guess it's simple yeah now let's see if it is right the object will be created yes object is created and now I call this B sort, then the execution will be done and the arrangement will be there. Now here, here it goes and everything is perfectly well. So I hope you enjoyed this program. Thank you very much. Just subscribe to our channel and keep learning.